Welcome to, Exposing TV, today I will show you what Islam says about the behavior with neighbors, so let's begin the video, Aladop al Mufrad Book 6 Hadith 101, Aisha reported that the Prophet, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, said, Jibril, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, kept on recommending that I treat neighbors well until I thought that he would order me to treat them as my heirs. So Islam says that treat your neighbors as your heirs. Aladop al Mufrad Book 6 Hadith 102, Abu Shuro Yaqus I reported that the Prophet said, Anyone who believes in Allah and the last day should be good to his neighbors. Anyone who believes in Allah and the last day should be generous to his guests. Anyone who believes in Allah and the last day should be say what is good or be silent. Aladop al Mufrad Book 6 Hadith 105, Aisha reported that the Prophet said, Jibril. May Allah bless him and grant him peace, kept on recommending that I treat neighbors well until I thought that he would order me to treat them as my heirs. Aladop al Mufrad Book 6 Hadith 107, Aisha said, I said, Messenger of Allah, I have two neighbors. To whom should I give my gifts? He replied, To the one whose door is nearer to you. Aladop al Mufrad Book 6 Hadith 112, Ibn Abbas informed Ibn Az Zubair, I heard the Prophet, May Allah say, he is not a believer whose stomach is filled while his neighbor goes hungry. Aladop al Mufrad Book 6 Hadith 114, Abu Dhar reported that the Prophet said, Abu Dhar, if you cook some stew, make a lot of it and fulfill your duty to your neighbors, or divide it among your neighbors. Aladab al Mufrad Book 6 Hadith 121, Abu Huraira reported that the Messenger of Allah said, A person whose neighbors are not safe from his evil, will not enter the garden, Aladab al Mufrad Book 6 Hadith 122, Amr ibn Mad al Ashali reported that his grandmother said, The Messenger of Allah, said, Believing women. Do not let any of you women disdain her female neighbor's gift, even if it is only a burnt sheep's hoof. Aladab al Mufrad Book 6 Hadith 103, Al Miqdad ibn Asad reported that the Messenger of Allah, may Allah, asked his companions about fornication and they said, It is unlawful. Allah and his messenger have made it unlawful. He said, It is less serious for a man to fornicate with ten women than for him to fornicate with his neighbor's wife. Then he asked them about stealing. They replied, It is unlawful. Allah and his messenger have made it unlawful. He said, It is less serious for a man to steal from ten houses than it is for him to steal from his neighbor's house. Aladab al Mufrad Book 6 Hadith 110, Abu Huraira said, Do not begin with your more distant neighbors before the closer ones. Rather begin with your nearest neighbors before the most distant ones. Note, all those hadith are Sahih hadith, they are from Sahih al Albani, Quran chapter 4 verse 36, Worship Allah, and do not associate with him anything and be good to parents and to kinsmen and orphans and the needy and the close neighbor and the distant neighbor and the companion at your side and the wayfarer and to those, slaves who are, owned by you. Surely, Allah does not like those who are arrogant and proud, so I showed you that Islam teaches us to care and love our neighbors, so this is also a proof that Islam is the best religion in the world, so thanks for watching, please like. Share and subscribe our channel for more informative and Islamic videos.